my name is Ryan Zakos of Zakos Realty, and today I'm going to talk about things to do in Sarasota, Florida. I'm going to give you a couple different categories. I'm going to try to stick to four recommendations per category. First, I'm going to start with museum. Sarasota is known worldwide for its museums, so here are four that I recommend in the area. One, the Ringling Museum of Art. It is rich in John Ringling's circus and art history. It was his personal residence and has beautiful grounds right in the bay. You can spend a whole day there. A couple others are Sarasota Classic Car Museum, the Marietta Museum of Art and Whimsy, and the Sarasota Art Museum. All four of these museums are definitely worth the look. If you're into museums, please reach out because there definitely are some more that you can check out. Things to do indoors. Here's four different things that I would recommend doing in Sarasota if you're looking to stay indoors. Van Wezel Performing Arts. If you're into ballet, orchestra, Van Wezel is the place to check out. The next thing is Oslo Theater. If you're into plays, Oslo actually has some unique history. I'm not gonna dive into that today, but Oslo is beautiful and it's a wonderful place to watch a play or other performing arts. McCurdy's Comedy Theater, that's self-explanatory. And then and last thing to do indoors, which is my favorite probably, is checking out all the local restaurants and dining. Sarasota is known for its chef's culinary expertise and its wonderful restaurants. Things to do outdoors. First thing, obviously, worldwide, world known for their beaches. Sarasota has wonderful beaches from Siesta, Lido, Longboat, Anna Maria, up and down the Gulf Coast. The beaches are wonderful. They all have a different flavor, different things to do on the beaches, different look and feel. So I would be curious to hear what your favorites are. Siesta is known for its white sand, its vast beach, and Lido's a little more smaller, private, wildlife, stuff like that. There's different uh, features to each beach, but they're all wonderful. Mayaka State Park is also one of the oldest and largest state parks in the state of Florida. Definitely worth looking at if you're looking for um, sightseeing for birds and alligators. Mayaka, you'll find them all there. Legacy Trail. It's an old converted railroad track that runs from Sarasota down to Venice. I've personally biked um, jog, rollerblade, all that kind of stuff up and down the trail. It's beautiful. It's through the woods, through the swamps, over the bay. There's a lot of wonderful views and it's very private and peaceful. They're actually extending it currently. Next thing is the mangrove tunnels. There's mangrove tunnels in Lido that I would highly recommend. If kayaking, paddle boarding, swimming, you can rent these paddle boards or kayaks there on site or you can purchase them and go take them yourself. But it's beautiful. It's one of a kind opportunity. It's unique. There are a bunch of different locations to do this, but Lido is probably one of my favorites. Last Last thing, places to shop. There are three places to shop that I would recommend. St. Armand Circle, it's different. You've probably heard of it. Fine dining and restaurants all in one location. University Town Center is a large mall in Sarasota as well as Ellington Outlet Mall. So there you go. There's my recommendations for things to do in Sarasota. Please don't hesitate to reach out. If you have any questions, I'd love to help.